my childhood, I was being taught that we should not waste anything. Rather, whenever you see a waste, think about how you can utilize it and reuse it in some extent so that the waste is minimized. My primary research is focused on developing sustainable construction materials and also utilize advanced or smart materials for structural applications. We have more than 40% of our infrastructure that has to be replaced and they will be demolished and they will produce lots of concrete. That actually takes lots of space from our landfills. For example, in the Okanagan Valley there are more than 20 manufacturers who produce composites and yearly their annual waste is more than 1,000 tons. Rather than looking at it as a waste, we should utilize it as a resource for us. In conventional concrete, we use cement, sand, and stone as aggregates. We are taking the demolished concrete from Kelowna Glenmore landfill, and we are utilizing it as an aggregate. Here I'm holding a piece, a big chunk of concrete, and this has aggregates in it. We have to crush it down using a crusher into small pieces which will be used for new material, for uh, producing new concrete. Also, the FRP manufacturers that we have in Okanagan Valley, we are taking their waste, we are cutting them into small pieces and utilizing as an aggregate. If we can utilize this huge amount of resource that we have in the landfill, it's highly beneficial to the environment. That's what we are doing. This new concrete has never been tested in the field, so we need to understand its durability. Any concrete which is exposed to the environment, it goes through many cycles of freeze thaw, wetting drying cycles. If it is used in bridges, we use lots of de-icing salt and that penetrates into the concrete and that chloride, when it crystallizes, it expands, it may crack the concrete. So definitely its durability will be affected. At the end, we want to see that it's being adopted by the industries. So they have a great fear to introduce a new product into the market. So we are doing lots of testing in the lab and we want to make sure that at least Whatever mix proportion we are using, at least you get a certain specified strength. Another direction of my research is to utilize advanced materials for developing smart structures. I have received a grant from Canyon Foundation for Innovation to develop the first smart structures lab in Canada, where we will be particularly focusing on developing smart structural components or small-scale structures utilizing smart materials. The idea is during earthquakes when the structure is subjected to large displacement, they cannot go back to their original position. In that case, those structures have to be demolished and new structure has to be built. If we can utilize some smart structures, this has an ability to bring the structure back to its original position. In that case, what you will require is minor repairing. Again, this is leading to sustainability.